Hi. So in this video, I'm going to show you the basic operation of using a Jolly Balance. Looking at the basic setup, we have a knob here that's going to you're going to turn a lot to do the measurements. It's on an arm connected to an arm with a spring, and that spring has a series of two cups. One is in water, and that water level should be about halfway up the arm. And then we have a cup that's in air. And then it's also important to note that you can see that this whole spring two cup system is free floating and is not rubbing on the edge of the uh, eyelet that it goes through right here. I also have my specimen. Right? And I have a notebook. And on that notebook, I have specimen number, the zero measurement, the measurement for the sample in air, and the measurement for the sample in water. I also want you to keep track of which Jolly Balance you're using. In this case, it's number one. And also, of course, keep track of which sample this is. In this case, this is sample number 10. OK, for collecting the data, before every single specimen you measure, you must get the measurement up here when there's no, no sample in either cup. And so what you're going to do is you're going to move this knob back and forth until this little platform here is exactly centered in the line in the mirror. And you want that line and the top of that little platform to cut your iris right in half as you look at it, right? And so I'm gonna get down low. I can see my eye in the mirror. The line is going right through horizontally to the center of my eye. And I'm now slowly moving this knob up and down until that platform is exactly aligned with the line in the mirror, which is going right through the center of my eye. And then I record that measurement using the vernier scale right here. And in this case, it is 18.60. And then I'm going to take my first specimen and I'm going to put it in the upper cup, which is in air. And then you can see it's obviously stretched the spring down. And so now I need to move this knob until again the platform is centered with the line which is centered with your eye. And you might have to wait a moment for the spring to stop bouncing up and down and double check and then read off the measurement 21.30 we then move the specimen from the upper cup and place it into the lower cup and then take a look to make sure there aren't any air bubbles stuck to the sample in the lower cup. And now you're going to see you're going to lower the arm again. We're going to center it.
and then read the measurement. 20.50. And then I'm going to take the sample. Oops. It's all right. Add a lower cup, put it on a paper towel to dry. If it comes unhooked, you just hook it back. No problem whatsoever. And then we start over. So this is going to be specimen number two. I start out by zeroing it with no sample in either cup. I level it, read it off, 18.45. Take the next specimen, put it in the upper cup, level it, read it off, 22.59. Move it from the upper cup to the lower cup. There's an air bubble on it, so I'm just gonna. There we go. That ah, got it. Make sure there's no air bubbles on it. Bring it back down and read it off. Twenty-one point four two. Sample out to dry and repeat until you have about 10 samples that you've measured. More the better, you can get 12 and the better results that you're going to get. And that's the basic operation of collecting specific gravity data for small samples with a Jolly Balance.